Woman prepares to jump off 100 meter platform to be on the safe side. She drops a shoe to test it out but the bottom was too deep for her. The sound that came back scared her near to death but she mustered up the courage to jump in order to get out of her restriction. However, she made contact with the ground unharmed. It turned out that the shelf was only to meet her high. It's just that she's been up there for three years and has forgotten what the ground feels like. Amelia had been a very pretty girl since she was a child. Her mother always told her that she is very pretty. If I had to choose between you being smart and you being beautiful, I'd choose beautiful every time. Amelia took this belief and succeeded with her beauty. From behind the stage to in front of it, she became a professional model. While enjoying the limelight, she also met a rich man. With money on her side, Amelia quickly fell in love with him. So she moved into a mansion and moved in with him. It all seemed so perfect. But this fairy tale story doesn't have a fairy tale ending. Amelia woke up one morning to the sound of renovations. Her boyfriend had put up a shelf on the living room wall. He said he had made it for Amelia. Although the gift was very puzzling. But Amelia was touched to see that he had done it himself. But the shelf was clearly not big enough to hold her own heels. It's not for your stuff. It's for you. You want me to sit? Besides, her boyfriend had moved his desk across the room. He said Amelia is his motivation. Because every time I would look up at you, I would always remember what I have. At first, Amelia didn't agree. After all, she was just starting her modeling career. But then her boyfriend told her to quit. And he said a lot of nice things. He said that a woman of Amelia's caliber deserved a better life. All she had to do was sit on a shelf and enjoy being loved. She didn't have to worry about anything. These complimentary words made Amelia believe her boyfriend's words instantly. After some hesitation, she decided to give it a try. So she climbed the steps with the help of her boyfriend and Saturday down in the cage, the symbol of love. Although she was uncomfortable at first, she would constantly suggest that she should rationalize it. Even on their wedding day, Amelia didn't get off the shelf. She Saturday gracefully on the stand throughout the entire wedding time and accepted the congratulations of the crowd. Gradually she began to enjoy it. The sweetness of her love life was the only thing in her life. Of course, Amelia's ease of acceptance was also due to her husband's kindness and consideration. Because even when the gym interrupts her boyfriend's work, she only gets sweet words. Sorry. Am I distracting you from all your business? Are you kidding? They're distracting me from you. Besides, her husband also gives her gifts every now and then. Yesterday it was a diamond necklace. Today it's a large bouquet of flowers. With material satisfaction, Amelia indulged in the beauty of love. But soon, she realized something was wrong. The man puts her on a shelf to better appreciate his wife's beauty as a symbol of her own wealth. With the man's compliments, this woman from her initial disbelief to slowly become enjoying it. Her daily task is to dress herself and waits for her husband to send her gifts of love. But little by little, Amelia sees her husband very rare. His gifts becomes a flying kiss, and even the maid could see that something was wrong. No present today? Amelia had to console herself with the fact that the kiss was more precious than jewelry. Gradually there were no more kisses but just a mechanical good morning. To break the dull silence, Amelia tried to find something new to say to her husband, but her husband shows very indifferent. Then she started humming a song to get attention. But she was surprised that she was warned to shut up, and this created a strong sense of sadness in Amelia. To maintain her attraction to her husband, she began to dress herself in a different way. She began to dress herself differently and kept saying, look at me in mind. However, her husband had his desk towards the window. Change of scenery. Natural light's better for my eyes. Amelia kept staring at her husband's back. Her eyes were full of tears. At that moment, even if she had a thousand words to say, she could not say a word. Amelia endured this for three years. She had been neglected for so long that she had developed a hallucination. Whenever she heard footsteps, she thought her husband had returned. After Amelia's repeated calls were unsuccessful, her psychological defenses collapsed. She took off her heels and had the idea to escape, although it was only a two meter high shelf. Amelia, who hadn't touched the ground for a long time, felt as terrified as if she was in a deep abyss, but she didn't scare away from it. Instead, she tentatively stretched her legs down. Then, she slowly released her grip on the shelf, and she was on the ground in no time at all. Amelia couldn't even walk upright after being on the floor for so long. She managed to get up on the sofa, but her movements are both comical and ridiculous. Once she was stable, she made her way to the door, breathing in the fresh air she hadn't seen in a long time. Everything outside is so interesting to her. She plays like a child at the pool, and then, in a deliberate prank, 
she dumped a basket of tennis balls with a crash. When she had done everything she wanted to do, Amelia boarded a van at the door and said goodbye to the place that had held her captive for three years. In the city, Amelia like a Disney princess in disguise, she twirls and dances around the street in her bare feet like no one's watching. Even when her little secret under her skirt was visible, she didn't care. And that's not enough. She ride on a passerby's motorbike and reach at a beach. Amelia stopped. She couldn't remember how long it had been since she'd seen the sea. The gentle sea breeze made her want to dance. And as she did so, the people on the beach gather and twist and turn to her beat. But as they danced, Amelia suddenly runs into the sea. The cold water bring her back to reality as a wave came crashing in. After jumping out of the fairy tale, she had to face reality. If you could live her whole life without worrying about food or clothing, but at the cost of sitting on a shelf forever and losing your freedom, would you want to? Amelia lived this life for three years. At first, her life was very prosperous, surprised, and loved every day. But gradually, her husband became less enthusiastic and began to ignore her. Without her husband's love, Amelia became an ornamental object. She jumped off the shelf in a moment of awakening and decided to return to a normal life. But Amelia has not worked for three years. It is difficult to back to the society for her. Passing by a makeup shop, Amelia couldn't help but stop looking at herself in the mirror. She felt as if she had never been a model before. So she grabbed her makeup and decided to clean up. And her scowlful makeup technique caught the attention of the shop assistant. The shop assistant enthusiastically approached her. She asked Amelia what she did for a living and whether she was a professional makeup artist. I... I... sit for a very wealthy man like a trophy. The shop assistant didn't comment much. She just said that Amelia should be happy as long as she was happy. But Amelia's life doesn't seem to have a happy option because her mother had already made the choice for her. The shop assistant's words made Amelia realize that whether she was smart or beautiful, as long as she's herself and become happy, then everything is worth it. Afterwards, Amelia returned to the mansion. She re-examined the shelf that had held her captive for three years. Then she swung an iron bar and smashed it without hesitation. As the platform fell to pieces, the cage that had imprisoned her mind collapsed with it, leaving behind the empty beauty of her past. A year later, Amelia launched her own cosmetics brand. There was a line of people at the door. This time she was still sitting on the shelf. With a smile on her face, she welcomes every customer. Then a mother and daughter pass by. The girl saw the beautiful Amelia and asked her if she could do the same. The mother was adamant in her rejection. Perhaps in the end, Amelia is still not living her own life, although she has escaped her husband's control over her. But then she is put on a pedestal when she joins society. And so the short film roar ends. The shelf is a clear metaphor for the patriarchal institution of marriage and the oppression of women. The essence of this typical patriarchy, it is the attempt to reduce all good values to a concrete object and then to possess it. So when Amelia is hung on a high wall to receive the blessing of her guests, even though everyone is looking up to her, she is just a beautiful piece of furniture for the family. The ending is a bit of an unconventional reversal. When the heroine is seen smashing the high table in anger, it's an act that makes you think she's finally broken free from her male-dominated marital cage. But in the end, the heroine is still the object sitting on the pedestal for others to enjoy. She has simply changed the setting from the living room to the doorstep. She is still the beautiful, refined, but male appendage without any freedom or dignity, and unable to be respected as a real human being. And yet she has to smile at the injustice of it all.